Dr. James Bakokis is a Niheyo Plains Cree, two spirit physician from Unichis Wapik Winik, Saddle Lake Cree Nation, who practices family medicine in Kinukam Misik, Kihiwin Cree Nation, in, and Southern Edmonton, where he has a transgender health focused practice. His passion drives him to elevate the Niheyo health system, which includes the use of Niheyo Maskikia Cree medicines. In addition to his work with his First Nations people, peoples, Dr. Makokis has a strong interest in providing high quality care to the trans community. Outside his clinical practice, Dr. Makokis has served as a chairperson of the Indigenous Wisdom Council of Alberta Health Services and is a board member of the Waki Benis Bryce Institute of Indigenous Health at the University of Toronto. He holds a Master's of Health Sciences from the University of Toronto and is a recipient of the National Aboriginal Achievement Award, currently called Inspire Award. Dr. Makokis is an Associate Clinical Professor in the Department of Family Medicine, University of Alberta, and is an adjunct professor at the Dalla Lana School of Public Health, University of Toronto. He is an endurance athlete and competes in races above 100 kilometers in length and has competed, completed, com completed various marathons throughout the world. He believes in the importance of Niheyo Sisikiwina ceremonies and Niheyawiwin Cree language and the Cree thought in living a healthy, and living health, a healthy life. He is married with his husband, Anthony John. He married his husband, Anthony Johnson, during the 2017 Vancouver International Marathon, where he said, I do at kilometer 32. <laughs> Thank you for big square Nehiawe win, speaking Cree. <laughs> I always do that to the people who are introducing me to let them know what, um, how beautiful our languages are. <laughs> so, tanse tatam skate na wa kaki one to temte ke goa ne waga makante ke ho kapa pe mote te go miste go aski na pesa snui hun onik saponi kotinia. Na naska ma ki te ya egagi ste mo ste mo ya ki ksep tanoch. Thank you for uh, opening up the day with prayer in your songs. It's very beautiful. Um, so I threw a wrench into the organizer's plans by changing my talk at the last minute. So sorry for the French translators. Um, uh, so I, I'm not sure if the new one is up, but this is what I'm going to be talking to you about today. And I think I still have the same amount of time. Is that right, Michael, wherever you are? Yeah, okay, cool. So 45 minutes. Um, so I'm James Lakokas. I'm from the Satellite Cree Nation. I'm talking today about two-spirit and trans health, in particular as it relates to transgender youth and the work that I do back home. Um, I work in two clinics, Kinoka Masa Kihiwan Cree Nation, and also uh, South Edmonton Common, uh, one day a week. So I always give reference to my, uh, my teachers, my elders, uh, much like in, when you're writing a paper in university, um, you know, you cite your references and have your bibliography. So this is my bibliography. <laughs> and I spent a lot of time uh, working with them outside of my school, regular school stuff. Um, a lot of summers, a lot of evenings, a lot of late nights, a lot of early mornings. And I always give credit to them for the knowledge that they carry for our nation and um, how they share it so openly with young people like myself. So it's happy Halloween. <laughs> happy Halloween, everybody. Um, I'm obviously dressed up like Willow. <laughs> She's on the right. She obviously wore it best today. Um, but this came out yesterday on CBC and CTV. I was doing a late night flu clinic on the 30th. Um, wait, 29th? I can't even keep my days straight now. <laughs> um, and they came into clinic and they were dressed like us and then that exploded all over social media <laughs> yesterday because uh, they did a really amazing job. And this is the reason why we went on the Amazing Race Canada. Uh, is so we could influence and inspire younger generations of people, including young indigenous people. And 
the way that I thought of this is like, wow, how cool is it that these young girls are dressing up like a two-spirit couple? Like, when else would that happen? <laughs> And they already have that star attitude um, where Willow, you know, she was going to bed at night and her, her mom was, she goes to her mom, mom, you need to get me water. Like, stars get water brought to them. <laughs> <laughs> so they're so cute. Um, so this is who I am. Uh, So there's so much terminology and sexual and gender uh, vocabulary and academia and just who we are as really cool, amazing people of part of the rainbow. So when I'm doing presentations, especially to physicians and health professionals and things like that, which I'm sure you guys are all aware of this stuff, I really put it into context of like what these vocabulary means as it pertains to my own life. So I'm from Onik Skaponik, that's my father's home, which means shadow on the lake. Kikino Métis Settlement is my mother's home. It's also on Treaty 6, one of the few Métis settlements in Alberta. I'm from Kitsiasu um, which is Treaty Number 6, agreed to in 1876 in peace and friendship with the newcomers. I'm a Nehio, person of the four directions or four bodied, bodied human beings, which is a root word of Newa, for Ainu or Aisinu, a being, so four bodied human being, two spirit, gay male, married to a cis male in a monogamous, monogamous close relationship. I'm an XY male pronoun, he, him. So trying to get wrap around around these different identities that we describe ourselves with, and for a lot of my physician colleagues, you know, asking even the sexual health history, it can be challenging, let alone like all of these other terms that are out there that keep evolving as well. 